This is probably the best, like well blended 80s slash 90s style scent. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a little review today on Zaharoff Pore Ohm. Now, this one was actually gifted to me by EJ Wells. Thank you so much for gifting me this fragrance. He really, really liked it, had a lot of good things to say about it, and thank you so much for providing this. I've given this fragrance two full days of wearing. My first reaction was, this smells kind of like a 80s to like early 90s, really strong style scent. It actually reminded me of something like Halston Z14 or something like that. I'm sure this is so much better than that because I haven't smelled it in a long time. But overall, it just seemed like a really 80s style scent. This is a fragrance with a lot of things going on. I pulled up the notes here from Zaharoff.com. Each of these fragrance notes, they had they list like where it's from. So I'm not going to list where it's from. I'm just going to list each note because there is a lot of them. Cardamom, lavender, black pepper. Juicy Pear, Blue Cypress, Ginger Roots, Blonde Cedar, Temple Oud, Florentine, Pimento Leaves, Fir Balsam, <laughs> Creamy Sandalwood, Gold Patchouli, Black Pepper, Myrrh, and Frankincense. And I do think that it has a lot going on to it, but overall to me, it just really seems like a 80s powerhouse style scent. And I gotta say, I'm not super into those style fragrances. I don't, I don't really go after any of those style fragrances, but I do wanna say this is probably the best like well blended 80s slash 90s style scent that I've smelled. If I had to wear one, I would definitely go with Zaharoff Porom. It's got this kind of smoothness to it. It's very, um, I would say it's very mature in my opinion. There isn't too much like really fresh sexiness or really youthful sexiness coming from it. It just seems like a very kind of like an everyday scent for somebody who likes those 80s, like early 90s powerhouse style scents. This one's blended very well. And because it has all those notes, there are times where it can smell like a little bit different um, in different kind of heats or, you know, things like that. When I sprayed it right now, I can smell a lot of the other notes I'm seeing in here. But overall, it comes off to me. I got a really, really good 80s slash 90s powerhouse style scent. Some ones that come to mind are like Polo Green, Dracar Noir, um, Halston Z14, I think that's what it is. There's probably a lot more fragrances like that. That's what it reminds me of. Let me know what you think of this one. Have you tried this one? Have you not tried this one? Have you heard of it? Have you not heard of it? I'm looking and there seems to be like a lot of people absolutely raving this and loving this. And I think the only reason that I'm just not super in love with it is because of the style of scent that it is. But for what it does, I mean, it really is the best in its class, in my opinion. And if you like those kind of older style scents, I keep saying that, but that is exactly who I'd recommend this for. Unfortunately, I don't like those style scents, but this is definitely the best style scent that I've smelled of those. And I probably will even mix it up and throw it in there every now and again, just because it does have all this stuff. It is really unique. It is really high quality. And I do think it is very, very good juice, but I'm just not um, into the 80 style scents. And maybe, you know, maybe you disagree with me. Please let me know down below. If you think it's not an 80 style scent, if you tried it, if you like it, if you don't like it, I'll be very interested to see it. Kind of just want to open up a discussion on this one. Thanks again, EJ Wells, for sending this one to me. Really, really well blended stuff, a lot of notes. And, you know, really, it's interesting when you start looking at these notes you could almost find like each one. And that's kind of crazy because overall it just has this 80s style like vibe that's really, really, really smooth. You know, the more I smell it, the more I go back to it, the more I do see how much it changes and I do see all the individual notes in there. Thanks again for you guys for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Let me know what you think of this fragrance down below. Um, I think it has a decent amount of hype and thank you so much for EJ Wells for providing me this bottle, allowing me to do this review. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you guys all for watching. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Thank you all so much for the support. It is amazing. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. <music>